Hello, Petal. Hello, Dr. Ranch. <sighs> You're not looking your usual sunny self today. No, I'm feeling very sleepy tired. <sighs> oh dear, are you sleeping properly at night? Well, I go in my bed and I go to sleep, but then I have to wake up because I want to go to the loo. And does it happen more than once in the night? Yes, lots and lots. And I feel very sleepy tired. <sighs> and you feel thirsty as well? Yes, I do feel thirsty and hungry too. Hmm. Let me see. You're feeling tired and you feel thirsty and hungry and you're needing to go to the toilet a lot. I have an idea what it might be, but we're going to need to do a finger prick test. Can you hop up onto the couch for me? OK. Right, I'll just clean my hands. And we're just going to clean your finger. Now I'm going to give your finger a little pinprick, so you need to be really brave for me. Oh, uh, um, Don't worry, uh, Petal. Do you know the wheels on the bus song? Yes. The wheels on the bus go... go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh. Oh. All done. Now this little machine tells me how much sugar you have in your blood. I have sugar in my blood? H how did it get there? We all have sugar in our blood. We get it from the food we eat. Oh. And our bodies are amazing at changing the sugar from all our food into energy. What's energy? Well, this bus needs fuel, like petrol, to make it go... Round and round, round and round. Yes. And we're a bit like this bus. We need fuel to make us go... Round and round, round and round. That's right. And do you know where we get our fuel from? Sugar from food. Very good. But I can tell from your test that the sugar in your body isn't turning into energy, which is making you feel unwell. Oh. Petal, I think you might have something called diabetes. Diabetes? Diabetes? Yes. I'd like to send you to the hospital for some more tests to check I'm right. Hospital? Don't worry, we just need to make sure it is diabetes so we know how to treat you. Can you make it better, Dr Ranch? Of course we can. How about we ask Nurse Morag and the healthy helpers to explain? I think that would be a very good idea. <coughs> Here we go. Hello, Nurse Morag. Hello, Dr Ranch. What can I do for you today? I've got Petal here with me. Hello, Nurse Morag. Hello, Petal. Um, Nurse Morag, could you tell me more about the sugar in my blood? Of course I can, with the help of my healthy helpers. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your go. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your go. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and my healthy helpers are... Hi, my name is Lily Marie and I like going on roller coasters. Hi, my name's Tony and I like going to the park. Hi, my name is Alicia and I like going on water slides. Hi, my name's Dr. I like swimming in the pool. Now, Petal would like us to tell her more about the sugar that's in our blood. And we get the sugar in our blood from the food that we eat and all different kinds of food has sugar in it. What do you think has the most sugar in it? Sweeties. Sweeties. Sweeties, just like these. But lots of other types of food have sugar in them as well. Bananas. Bananas do have sugar in them because fruit has lots of sugar, doesn't it? Oh, and what have you brought out here? Bread. <coughs> and do you think that has sugar in it? Yeah. No. It does, you know. And what else have you got? Oh, pasta. Do you think pasta has sugar in it? Yeah. yeah. You're absolutely um, right, it does. There's a spider in there. Oh, well, I don't think a spider's got sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what, guys? Our body is very, very clever, and it can turn the sugar in all of this food 
into energy. And Petal's been feeling really tired lately because her body's not been turning the sugar into energy. Shall we play a game? Yeah! yeah go on. Come on, guys, let's go play! Yay! Now, for most people, their bodies turn the sugar from their food into energy. Shall we see how that works? Yeah. OK. Well, Danny, you, because you are so sweet, are going to be sugar. So can you go and take one end of the skipping rope for me? Thank you very much. And Isha, you want to skip rope, so can you go and stand in the middle for me? Excellent. In order for our bodies to turn sugar into energy, we need special help. And we get that special help from something that we already have in our bodies. The special thing is called insulin. And Lily Mae, you are going to be the insulin. So can you go and take the other end of the skipping rope for me? So Lily Mae and Danny, you pick up the ends of the skipping rope for me. OK, and you ready? One, two, three. Now, we can see that sugar and insulin are working together to give us energy so that Isha can jump the rope. But Petal's body works in a different way. Shall we find out how Petal's body works? Yeah! So, Danny, you're sugar, so you stay where you are. And Isha, you still want to skip rope, so you stay there. But insulin, you come on out just now. Isha, do you think you can still jump the rope? OK, well, give it a try. Oh, dear, you can't skip now, Isha. And that's what's happening to Petal. Her body isn't turning the sugar into energy because she doesn't have any insulin. Shall we show Petal how we can help her? Yeah! Yes, because Petal's body doesn't make insulin, but a doctor could give Petal insulin. So, Joshua, you're going to be our doctor. Let's bring back insulin. Well done. Thank you, doctor. OK, one... Two, three, go. Isha can skip again. The insulin helps sugar change into energy. And if a doctor gives insulin to Petal, it'll help her feel better again. And she'll be able to skip and dance and run about just like she's always done. Well done, guys. Excellent. Come on in. Well, I hope we've explained more to Petal about what happens to the sugar in our blood. Yeah? Bye bye, Petal! Get well soon! And foot and mouth disease. Dotted, dotty spots, but none upon you.